Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the um, end of the month love readings. We are running a bit behind. So let's get right into your reading Aquarius. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in regards to love and romance for the remaining of February going into March 2020. Now your first card here Aquarius is heart to heart conversations, separation, and new love okay so off the bat what they're saying here is that it's time for you to be completely honest with yourself uh, for some of you guys you may be in a current relationship but very unhappy or unfulfilled and what is coming forth or what they're speaking about is a separation that is uh, highly needed at this present time time apart from your partner is on the horizon and perhaps something that is necessary um, honestly discuss your feelings with each other so i think that you've been carrying or you've been going through this cycle aquarius where perhaps you've settled or perhaps you try to work through issues that um, your partner perhaps just tends to sweep it under the rug without really dealing with it or talking about it and what they're saying is stop fooling yourself aquarius it's time for you to be completely honest and transparent not only with your partner but with yourself here's the thing what what they're showing me what i'm feeling here is almost a feeling of like i know that it's come to an end or i know that this is not going to work out but yet i'm scared to speak up or i don't want to speak up or i don't want to deal with the ending i don't want to deal with the moving if you guys are living together that type of energy now what they're saying in here is to be honest with yourself is a very strong statement it's almost like you're already aware or you've already made up your mind, but you're scared of making the first move. And what they're saying here is separation is something that is highly needed in this present time. You could be um, finding yourself often bickering or fighting over the most min minimal things. And the reason for that is because it's almost like that energy where you just can't stand each other uh, or just don't want to deal with one another. And again, it's because there is avoidance. Someone's trying to avoid uh, the issues that are really taking center stage when it comes to your partnership. Uh, so what they're saying here is be honest with yourself. If you feel that at this point in the relationship, there's just no working it out or there is just no turning of the page when it comes to looking forward to a better future with this person, it's time for you to really swallow that heart pill and move away from that. Only and see, I see you guys almost like sacrificing your time, your effort, your energy, or even like physical feeling extremely physically tired. And it's because you've like, you're constantly thinking or dealing with this energy. And what they're saying is that you're not able to move forward. You're not able to progress or you're not able to experience new experiences because you yourself are not accepting the changes that are now going up to surface. Uh, I also do see new love for you guys. A new person has steered your romantic feelings. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're still in a relationship, but now you're dealing with someone else uh, or you are emotionally invested or connected with someone, but you just don't want to make that choice. Um, not making a choice is still making a choice. And what they're saying here is you don't want to start something new off on the wrong foot. So my advice to you is if you're currently going through a situation where you've told the person you're dealing with in the present that you're separated, but really you're not, or really you're not really even brought that conversation up, it's time to be completely honest and transparent, Aquarius. Remember, when we're not honest, there's absolutely nothing that could be kept in the hidden, and it will come back and bite us in the ass, and you don't want that, uh, not just for consequences, but for your karmic energy as well. Um, now for those of you guys that are currently single, uh, you may be dealing with the same scenario of being separated or not being like in an official relationship because there's been some type of separation or, or some type of pulling away, but there's still resistance. You're still not wanting to let go of that, or you're not wanting to move on. And what they're saying here is that when the new opportunity or when this new person that is going to play an important role in your life. Uh, steps in you don't want to have to deal with this type of energy you'd rather or you're better off dealing with it now than having to deal with it uh trying to gamble 
two people, two situations or two scenarios at the same time. Uh, so again, be transparent, be honest with yourself, Aquarius. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently in a situation where you're no longer with your partner, there was a separation, but you're still holding on to resentment, to anger, to anything that is still emotionally a bond with that other person from your past. What they're saying is it's time to move on. It's time to let go of the past, stop revisiting or stop living the past and move forward. Uh, open yourself up to new opportunities and new potential uh, to be able to find your happiness, Aquarius. Stop looking to the past. And I do see a lot of Aquarians like looking or wanting to look into like their ex-partners and, and that type of energy. It's not serving you. It's not helping you in any shape, way or form. It's time to let go. It's time to move on for your sanity, for your happiness. You deserve happiness. Uh, don't be afraid of moving forward and opening yourself up to something new. It's time, Aquarius. Okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of clarity. And we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.